Hey there, Noble, and welcome to the Nightly News. I'm Hannah. I'm Jill. And I'm Cassandra. We are going to start things off by talking about a very serious topic, drug use. We will show you this episode's Hot or Not about your favorite winter holidays. You'll see a very special spotlight on art students. You will learn some brief information on a very important topic, hunger in the state of Maine. To start things off, let's take a look at a very serious topic, drug use. Drug use is any time someone uses a drug or a substance, um, whether it's prescribed or not prescribed, to uh, become uh, mentally and, physic and or physically impaired. Marijuana use is, is mostly, but I think alcohol too. I think you can consider alcohol sometimes. Um, as a as a drug. The state of Maine though right now is in a big crisis with bath salts. Um, we haven't seen a lot of it yet here in York County but in Bangor it's a real problem. I think in the state of Maine um, it's it's becoming more and more a problem not so much with high school students but with students who um, are just out of college or in college. That's not to say that high school students don't use drugs. I mean, don't use drugs. I think some do. And those students really need help. What's your favorite holiday in winter? Christmas. Christmas. Let's see what the other students of Noble High School think of the winter holidays. Hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm Chris. And I'm Kenzie. We're comparing holidays from America to China. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, there is sounding on. Mom and dad, she don't follow, don't just ask on. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, there is sounding on. Mom and dad, she don't follow, as we said, the Chinese New Year is known as Spring Festival. It is also called Chinese New Year New Year. It is the longest and the most important holiday in China. It begins on the first day of the first month and ends the 15th day. On Chinese New Year's Eve, all the family members come home from faraway places for the reunion dinner. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We my favorite thing about Christmas is getting to see my family and spend time with them. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I've always eaten lobster since I was little. My favorite thing about the holidays is seeing my family together because we're really a separate family, but when we come together, it's like the best feeling in the world. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas, oh, we wish yeah. you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wait, Christmas Day. I like New Year's. The most politically correct one, winter holiday. Winter solstice. Hanukkah. Christmas. Christmas? Christmas! Christmas! My favorite winter holiday? Christmas. Being Catholic, I would say Christmas. My favorite winter holiday is Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> My favorite winter is Christmas! Uh, probably Hanukkah. New Year's Eve. Christmas. <laughs> I told you. Noble has some very talented art students. Here's a spotlight on a few of them. I take art 3-4 with Ms. Marshall. In art 3-4 we do everything pretty much. It's all about experimentation and Ms. Moshan is all about us finding our favorite medium to work with. So we do so she teaches us the skills of from everything about brushes and coloring with colored pencils. So we do a lot with uh, drawing and painting and 
everything you can think of, even sculpting. It's about um, capturing myself as an animal, and the animal I chose was a lion. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. person and I love art but and like there's so many opportunities in art to have a career so hopefully I'll find one that fits me. I'm Chelsea Roy and I'm a graphic designer. <laughs> know that many people in our community are on food stamps? No, I didn't know that. Let's learn a little bit more about hunger in our community. In the state of Maine, there are over one million families on food stamps. Out of that number, there are over a thousand within our community. Our school has collected a total of 698 cans, as well as $200 for our local Berwick Food Pantry. The North Berwick Farmer's Market is now officially accepting food stamps. Please do your part and help fight hunger in making our community a happy and healthier environment for everyone. For more information, please visit feedingamerica.org. Looks like that wraps things up. I'm Cassandra. I'm Jill. And I'm Hannah. We hope all your news is good news. Stay, Stay noble, noble Knights! knights.